Tu ongea, tu ongea. Tuonge. Want to go? And be not drunk with wine, where it is excess, but be filled with the Spirit. Uh-huh. Speaking to yourselves, Speaking to yourselves in psalm and hymns and spiritual songs, uh-huh. singing and making melody in your heart to the Lord, uh-huh. giving thanks always for all things as to God and the Father in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, submitting yourself to one another, in the fear of God. Look at your neighbor, tell your neighbor, do not be drunk with wine, but be filled with the Spirit of God. Look at another neighbor, tell them, be filled with the Spirit of God. Then lift up your hand and say, I will not be drunk with wine, I will be filled with the Spirit of God. You may have your seats in the presence of the Lord. Amen. I will be long with you so that... Uh, you can be somewhere else in Jesus' name. Now, by the grace of God, by the grace of God, Pastor has written a book. Yeah. Right? Yes. I know most of you didn't know this, but I've written a book. No. It's called what? Be filled with the Spirit. I expound and give you practical lessons of you being filled with the Spirit. Being filled with the Spirit, sit by the baby. You need to be very practical when you're studying the Bible. And this is a practical expose covering all scriptures about being filled with the Spirit. I have a few copies. There were not so many of them. But I came to show you that pastor is an author. Amen. I'm not, I'm not average. And I this to be average. Praise be to God. Praise God. So we don't need a kitab yangu. We don't need a kitab yangu. We'll talk after the service <laughs> in Jesus' name back there. So, Daniel 11 39 says, But the people who know their God shall be strong mm-hmm. and they shall do exploits. Mm-hmm. In other words, we have been discovering you must first know God so that you can do exploits. And then back to Ephesians 5 18. He says, well, Don't be drunk with wine. Let's, let's do a simple Bible study there. Don't be drunk with wine. He's a, he's the, the, the author who is Apostle Paul is telling us it is not the drinking that matters. It is what should replace your drinking. Praise be to God. Amen. Do not be drunk with wine. If you show us in the Amplified, he says something that to the effect that it dissipates. Have you ever seen a drunk person? Yes. Have you ever seen a drunk person? Yes. They cannot be drunk always. Yes. All right? It dissipates. And do not get drunk with what? With wine. For that is debauchery. Yeah. Uh, Ken, that, that word there is... Debauchery. No, debauchery. See, Duberi, say my debauchery. Say my again, debauchery. You know I'm preparing you for international ministry. Debauchery. But ever be filled. Wazungu. When the Bible says ever be filled, it says what? Continuously be filled. Continuously be filled. Continuously be filled. So if the Bible says I should continuously be filled with the Spirit, can I say, Anne, that their times are not full of the Spirit? Yes. Serio? So just like your mobile phone, I know it's 100% fully charged. Mm -hmm. Have you noticed when it's 100% fully charged, the phone is able to help you? Talk to me. Yes. There are certain applications that you cannot use on your phone if your phone is 50%. Yes. Yeah. Senior, Mr. Bernard, you're in the IT department, the IT uh, sector. If a gadget goes beyond a certain threshold in power, it can't even upgrade. True? Yeah, so the same thing happens with a believer. There are certain times you are in 20%. There are certain times you are in 50%. There are certain times you are in 100%. How do you tell joy that you are in 10%? You are leaning more to the flesh than to the spirit. Ukiono na kwazika kwazika angalia kama unatumia fast charger. Ama unatumia zile za China zenye zinapitaga 110%. Wacha kuna simu zina charge 110%. Is a joke. So spirit you don't want to laugh. Laugh. Even the feel feel spirit people laugh, yeah? So he says ever be filled and stimulated. Ever be filled and stimulated. Me see this scripture in your village, and I don't mean to put a cigar, to put a bangi, to put a pombe. So your stimulation to go on a seminar and take a steam. So what do I do? I want to look for. So you see, the age says they want to blow some steam. See, it will be caught in a tafuta camps. 
Yani hii lugha inabadilika kubadilika. Praise God. So he says, what should stimulate you? Talk to me. What should stimulate you? The Holy Spirit is the person who should be stimulating you. Praise be to God. Na turudi kwa King James. Wazungu, roda kwa Okay, nani anajua kizungu vizuri kabisa? Wewe. Wewe. Na Andy. Na Mr. Bena. All right. Niwaulize. Hii, hii, hii inaitwa nini? Semicolon. Semicolon inamaanisha nini wazungu? Ni the continuation of thought. Meaning, your statement ya kwa za kwa complete bila hii ingine. Yeah. Si ndio? Yeah. So, and do not be drunk with wine, but to King James. King James, sorry, sorry for that. And do not be drunk with wine, where in excess, but be filled with the spirit. It's a continuation, si ndio? Yeah. Yeah. But be filled with the spirit. Mona uh, semicolon. Yeah. Speaking to your yeah. in Psalms, so the first way ya kuwa ndo hogyo is to speak to yourself. Si kwa kero mikono, speak to yourself. Tuongi ukweli. Mulevi ya renda kusema aje, dunia yote ni yango, inji yote ni yango. Si ni ukweli? Now, if you are drunk of the spirit, I should see you speaking. Talk to me. You should be speaking to yourselves. Are you learning something? Say with me, I should be speaking to myself. I love Mr. Bernard, I'm a graduate. I'm going to go to the house. 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 So I'm speaking to myself. I'm above and not beneath. I'm the head and not the tail. I'm more than a conqueror in Christ Jesus. I'm speaking to myself. You see, the problem with the church is that complicated methods. You don't even have to go to the house. Yani it has to be complicated. I have to say, uh, there's an angel somewhere there with a jug of wine. Dr. Oh, feel me, Father, feel me, Father. No, it's as simple as this. Biblia inakuwaga hivi an. Yesu alisema, watoto wakujo kwa mbu. Kama mtoto hezi elewa injili, yu injili yako ni umu. Wana sifuwe sana. Mtoto wanafuwa kujo injili. Niulize kwa nini? Paul anasema in 2 Timothy 3.15, and that from a child, from what? A child. You have known the holy scriptures which are able to make you from utotoni. You have known the holy scriptures that are able to make you wise unto salvation through faith which is in Christ Jesus. So the gospel should be as simple as it can be. So the first way I could just on a roho ni nini? Kujiongelesha. Uliza jirani yako, unajiongelesha? Maramo. Lakini shida, shida ni lotis. Amesema, speaking, tukai kwa King James. King James. Speaking to yourself, in what? In Psalms. And hymns. And what? So, unafa, unajiongelesha ate, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me, besides the still waters. He? So, then, he? Eh, eh, though I walk through the valley, eh, I'm just walking. I'm just walking. Say so na pitia pale ondiri kwa valley. Una sema I'm just walking. I'm just walking. I'm just walking. Tell yourself I'm just walking. I'm just walking. I'm just walking. Eh, and then you say he prepares a table. Oh, God is preparing a table in front of me. That is how you become drunk. But the problem is we are speaking to ourselves, eh, in finance bill, Kenyan economy, and uh, secular songs. Talk to me. Amen. Talk to me. Talk to me later. Is it true? If I take your, if, if I take someone's phone here, I could, I, I can bet myself I'll find a secular song. Eh? Eh? Alafu unaimba, unaimba R&B, unazama na R&B. Uneza aje zama na R&B. Buda. Ebu uliza, uliza jirani yako, unazama aje na R&B. Aje. Oh, Pasi, when I tell you, I'm coming upon that the storm is over. Ah, Inchi, Yetu, Nyaida Kue Moto, Mo Baridi. Wana Sikwe Sana. Which songs are you listening? What are you on Bibo? A Kuna Kitu Maya, Kwa Believer, Kama Secular Songs. Itamaliza anointing Ukionana Macho Ibi. Wana Sikwe Sana. 
Kama uniongeleshe na kushuku. Have you noticed? Look at you. Tufanye research. Usha notice. Watu wenye usikiza reggae wanakaa ni kama wamekaribia Yesu. Eh, my meditation. Nota. Eh, bro. Alafu inakuwa throw one stone. Sasa mkivuta zote tutajenga kanisa aje. Throw one stone. Si ndio? Angalia wenye wanasikizaga reggae, raga. Is it raga? Oh, whatever. That funny. Even their dancing style is more sexualized. Inakaa demonic, si ndio? Muongee. Kama muongee nda search hizo masingu zenu. Angalia wase wenye usikiza rap. Eh hata kutembea, hata kishika Bible wanaishika kama gun. <laughs> Una get? Sasa if we imagine umesikiza secular song the whole week, alafu pastor anakuambia you should be filled with the spirit of kabla ni toe 50 cents. <laughs> kabla ni toe to pack. Hey, service imeisha. Bwana asifiwe sana. Worship team. You listen to secular music, you are done. You will be as dry as a wood. Oh, pastor, they are not singing funny songs. They are just singing about love. Huh? Where mwenye unasema they are singing about love. You have never read the songs of Solomon. It's a book of love. <laughs> I'm seeing you guys. Praise be to God. He says, speaking to yourselves. In what? In Psalm. Watcha ni kuonesha Psalm moja miu pray na yo Psalm. Psalm 27 verse 1. In a sense, the Lord is my light. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? So me ni pray. Now pray give it. Oh, I receive light. I walk in light. Oh, I walk in the light of the gospel. And then I say, the scripture in John, it's saying, in he was life. And the light was the light of men. And the light shineth in darkness. And darkness cannot comprehend it. So when I walk in town, I say, oh, Father, thank you, because darkness cannot comprehend this new creation who carries the eternity in himself. Praise be to God. Who keep on evil? Economy at the kenda chini utasikia kitu. Speaking to your speaking to your speaking to your in what in psalm which other psalm do you know I have been young I have never seen the righteous know their seed which other psalm do you know mark the blameless man hey mark him mark the blameless man for his future is bright Look at that scripture. So, uki kesho, kesho, uki ingia super metro. Can I have a phone here? One phone. Uki ingia super metro. Super what? Before your Subaru comes. Unasema, the Lord is the strength of my life. Uh, as I pass, you know, the Lord is the strength of my life. As I pass to uh, uh, Westland, I receive light. I know where my legs will go. And I hear an amen. amen. I know exactly what to transact. I know what time I will leave town. That is how you speak to yourself. But when you wait, ile kitu imetu koroga kabisa ni mdomo. Unaomba hii, unasema hivi. Unaomba hivi, unabihave hivi. Mungu watasaidia. Speak to yourself. Can you speak to yourself? Hebu nisikia ukijiongelesha. Hata kujiongelesha, wezi jiongelesha. <laughs> eh? Watch out, Grace. Is it the is it the season for EPL? Yes. Eh? Yes. Oh, so shout to you, Mumeka Jampira. Ah, I see you. I see you. Una watua. Kwa kwa sa easy. Dioni kuna kile. Kuna kile dioni. Unona unona mbaka unaongelesha jirani. Na kwa kani sa wezi muongelesha. You're so dignified. Let me tell you. Speak to yourself. Ebu speak to yourself. I am above only and not beneath. I am the head and not the tail. I am more than a conqueror in Christ Jesus. That is why, Glenn, the book of Psalm should be your best friend. Oh, Pastor Siko kwa Old Testament. Paul anakuambia nini? Speaking to yourself in Psalm and hymns and spiritual song. Now, in this book, I've covered what is a Psalm. I've covered them in this book. What is a hymn? What is a spiritual song? But sasa jumko hapa ni wapia teasers. So tuende kwa hymns. How do you get filled with the spirit? Singing hymns. 
Hallelujah. Yeah. You see, to him, say, to him, say, Jesus, This hymn is so powerful than Mateki, Mateki, Mateki. Jesus paid it all. Is better than Mateki. <laughs> what has he said? Praise be to Praise God. What has he said? Yo, singing hymns. Ni poa sana kuliko bazuki hizo. Ah, imagine Jesus paid it all. All to him I owe. Sin had left left a crimson stain. He washed it. See, imagine that. Lingala ya Yesu wangu. Jesus paid it all. Oh, to him are you all. These are the things that fill you up. Praise be to God. Did I say you don't listen to Lingala Yesu? Don't misquote me. I'm telling you what fills you as a spirit man. Which other hymn? On Christ the Holy. All on the ground. The song says, My hope is built on nothing less. That? That? Okay. Mununue Golden Bells. <laughs> Which other hymn do you know? At the cross. Where's Passover? It was there by I received my son. And now I am not Man, I get goosebumps when I listen and sing him. At the, at the cross where I first saw the light. You see the light from the cross. And then he says, and the burden of my heart rolled away. It was there by faith. I received sight. And now I'm happy. I'm not happy because at the river beats. Yeah. I'm happy because that's the first place I saw light. Oh, yeah. oh glory to God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Praise be to God. Yeah. And then he say, sing, uh, he says, sing, he says, psalms and hymns and spiritual song. So I cover what a spiritual song is. But let me give you a hint. What is a spiritual song? Mm-hmm. Shall I pray? And then as you're praying, you feel a song that has never been sung by any person. Huh? I jaimbo na sinach, I jaimbo na na kenali, I jaimbo na grace, I jaimbo na any person. It's your own personal con, uh, composition. That is a spiritual song. Praise be to God. Amen. It comes after much prayer. When a song has come, a song has come to, uh, it has never been sung by any person. And that comes as the result of you being filled with the spirit. Amen. So what is your spiritual song? That's not, there, there's a difference between that song you get as you pray, and uh, even the songs that we sing are spiritual, of course. They are spiritual. But the difference is this is your own personal composition. I there exist any other place. Are you getting my point? Speaking to yourselves in what? In Psalms? And hymns and spiritual song. Sing it. Aye, look at that. You know, say my dear, go see you, Carol. Sing it. Eh? Do you know what this means, Carol? I keep it in simple in a kind of bottle. Sing it. Lord, your praise the Lord. How do you make a melody? Imagine go. You only want to dance on a roll. You only. Evil. Is it as simple as it sounds? Yeah, yeah. Can you do a melody of your own composition? Just do a melody. What was Arsenal? What was EPL? Sumu Ibe, I'm saying you. Do a melody, do a melody. Hmm? 
Eh, you see, the problem is, una sikuna una melody ni mtoto. Hiyo ndio inafanya usijazwe. Eh, pastor, kwani unatufunza udoi? Bible inasema the things of the spirit are foolishness. They are foolishness. Singing and making melody in your heart. Tell your neighbor, tell your neighbor, the melody is not for you. It's for the Lord. So you may not like the humming, but the Lord likes it. Likes it. Now do it again. Do a melody. Praise be to God. Amen. Mrs. Bernard, how did I discover this? Place? I was so thirsty to see the hand of God. I, was, I encountered so many people who really complicated how to flow in the gifts of the Spirit. You know, Carol, this is true. You find people who are moving in the gifts of the Spirit. This one, you have to go to the third heaven. You will part it. So, nikarudi nikauliza Mungu, kama wewe ndio the giver of this gift. Kwa nini hata nikikile mtu mkono, haizi jazo na roho? Unajua hizo ndio vitu zinafazi wasumbue. By the way, sisumbukaki na mtu ameanguka ama jeanguka. As long as nime minister kwako, hiyo ndio ina mata. So, nikaanza kuuliza Mungu, kwa nini hata si hizi jazo msi na roho? Yet for the book of Acts, mpaka watu wenye wako kwa apostle Stephen. Kwa hiyo unasema he was a man full of faith and full of the Holy Ghost. Lord, what am I missing? What am I missing? I began now studying. Nikachukua vitabu zileto God's Generals. Siju kama nazijua. Talking about akina Kenneth Hagin. Akina T.L. Osborne. I started studying them. Then nikakuja mbaka kwa genealogy yetu. The, the, the men of uh, faith in our generation. How they were able to do it. And then I discovered it's as simple as this. So pastor, what do you do in your prayer time? I do psalms. I do hymns. I do spiritual songs. Then I begin to see you in the vision. I'm told, pray for this person. Pray for the other person. A good pastor. Look at me, people of God. A good pastor is the one that teaches you how to fish. Let me repeat it again on this other church. A good pastor is the one who teaches you to fish. Bona sifu ya sana. Mimi si... Ule ule mse, nalikawa jawa? Wanyoni. Mimi si jawa wanyoni. If I don't teach you how to move with the gifts of the Spirit, I have failed you guys. Praise be to God. So how do you get filled with the Spirit of God? Psalms, hymns, spiritual song, singing and making melody in your heart to the Lord. When they were twenty, giving thanks. Father, thank you. That's how you get filled with the Spirit. Father, thank you for today. Thank you that I have children. Thank you that I'm married. Thank you that you have sustained me. Thank you that you have kept me. Thank you because even when I lost the job, I did not go insane. That is how you get filled with the Spirit of God. Giving thanks always for some things. For all things. And to who? God and the Father in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Can you give thanks? Learn to give thanks. Learn to give thanks. Learn to give thanks. Do you remember this song, worship team? Give thanks with a grateful heart. Give thanks to the Holy One. Give thanks to Jesus. Then you are giving thanks because he has given us Jesus, not your car. That's the first priority. So when they fire. Aha. Uh-huh. Give them to the Holy One. Yes, Lord. Give them because He's given Jesus Christ, His Son. And now let the weak say, I am strong. Yes, Lord. Let the poor say, I am free, because of what the Lord has done for us. And now, let the weak say, I am so Yes, 
flow, let the poor say, I am rich, because of what the Lord has done for us. So you're giving thanks. And then he says, let the weak say I'm strong. Why? Because of what God has given us. Who is he? Jesus. Let the poor say I'm rich. You're rich because of what? You have Jesus. Not money in your bank account. You have Jesus. Praise be to God. So singing and making melodies in your heart to the Lord. Uh Giving thanks always for all things unto God and the Father in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Verse 21. Submitting yourself one another. Look at that. Submitting yourself to one another. In other words, we should submit to one another. Praise be to God. We should submit. Talk to me. We should submit. So, husband, should we submit to one another? Yes. Uh huh. In the fear. In the fear. Praise be to God. Umona pali popote apo kwanza. Anything to do with prayer? No. Was there anything to do with prayer? No. no. Anything to do with giving? No. Huh? No. no. Just giving the example. Yeah. But are you noticing it is practical things that you can do to be filled with the Spirit? Yes. So you should be a student of the book of Psalm. Yes. You should be singing hymns. Amen. You should be doing spiritual songs. Amen. Praise be to God. Amen. And most of the time here, as we are ministering, we end up having spiritual songs flowing from us. Amen. Praise be to God. Amen. That is how you get filled. So lastly, let me show you an example. One example, and then I leave. One example of somebody who was spiritually filled, was spirit-filled, and what he did. Exodus 31. We're going to go to Exodus 31. And we're going to get a character there, that, uh, verse, verse 1. Exodus 31, verse number 1. We shall find a character there, probably Mary. Uh, the name you can use for your son. When you get murdered. <laughs> and the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, See, I have called Mary, Mary is for some of Gina. That's the name you are giving your son. Yeah. 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 Beza? Would I get to quit him, Mama Beza? 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 The son of Urai. Uh huh. The son of Ur. Tribe of? Uh huh. And I have filled him with the? Uh huh. So, pause. So, if you're full of the spirit, you're full of wisdom. Yes. Uh huh. And in what? And in? So umse adikuwa na wisdom, understanding, knowledge, in all manner of workmanship, to devise. All right, can you see it in the New King James? But just as what on a sheet of cunning, cunning, devise cunning. All right, let's see the New King James. To design artistic works, work, work in gold, in silver. Now listen to me, people of God. Ebony Angalieni, Mrs. Scripture for Inasema, the Holy Ghost is not only for this part. The Holy Ghost is not Ukisha Anguka, Amka Naidia. Eh? Eh? Usi Sema, whoosh! Alafu Ukia Amka Tune, hey! Man, that was powerful. That was powerful. Ah-ah! Ukia Amka Toka Naidia. Talk on the solutions. Yes. He says to design artistic works, to work in gold. Who say I went to university? Like in one touch, I'll talk on a degree. The experience of work in gold, na silver, na bronze. Na ni mingi ne? In cutting jewels. Who say ni? Ali kona pe wa indi kompe. In cutting jewels, in carving wood, and to work in all manner of, all manner of. It is good to go to the university. It is good to go to the polytechnics. Ziko, it is good to go to, good to go to the polytechnics and the colleges and everything. But there is a way the Spirit of God can give you an idea. One idea. One. Look at yourself. One. They you saw it. Probably some of you don't know. There is nothing in this world that didn't come from heaven. 
including Safaricom. There is nothing, the Bible says, nobody can receive anything on this earth unless it comes from above. So the one who got the concept for Mpesa is a human being like you. Anavaka troza moja, mugu moja at one time. Aishika give you naruka. Praise be to God. If they can come up with Mpesa, you can come up with a kingdom bank. Praise be to God. Ambia God akuchonge. Kama we ni carpenter, ukiunda kitanda, wanashindo mashini ilipiti yako sangapi. Lakini ni akili yako. Praise be to God. Do you know guys, do you know, do you know, literally, God can show you and teach you about finances. Mimi mungu wame nifunza finances. Sijenda shure. Ni wa shure. Everything I teach you here, Miss Jenda Bible School. <laughs> Nimenda the school of the spirit. Sijenda Bible School. And yet, everything my wife is doing in the Bible school, because she, she's graduating with a degree course in November. Mindyo na mark. Imagine. Mindyo na mark. Ana nyambia kumbe hizi ndio zile vitu na nyambia gana mwambia ya. The natural man does not receive the things of the Spirit of God for their foolishness. Eh? Neither can some mimi mbragia na mwambia, I'm a man of the Spirit. Eh? I'm a Holy Ghost man. Eh? You're getting my point. The Lord can teach you how to do business. Si jasema an ukae home sema Lord. Now chapter 1 of financial 101. Sie ni job. Hapana. Enda job. Na ukienda job, muambie ni show how to do business. Praise be to God. Have you seen that? Now go to is it chapter 35. Is it chapter 35 of the same? Can I have your Bible? Let me check where that's. Let me let me let me get it. Thirty-three. Are you learning something? Yes. Kuna sema kuna verse thirty chapter thirty-five. Okay. Um, thirty-five. Thirty-five. All right. Thirty-two. I will get it for you. But as you look, as I look for it, go to first, first, first one, first Samuel. Go to first Samuel. First Samuel 10. First Samuel 10. I kabla wewe ni kwa ni mimi hapa ni actually ni sura 36. Sura 36. Unasema? What does it say? Verse 1, verse 1. 36 1. And Rezarel and Aholia and every gifted artisan in whom the Lord had uh -huh, to know how to do all manner of work for the service of the sanctuary shall do according all that. So, Ujama alikuwa gifted at Mokunda sanctuary. Akikata mbao hivi. Angel akikuja na sema yoniti. Tinukwe? Yes. So, andika hii na usisahau. Holy Ghost hiwa kulipatia goosebumps. Nikiamuka, niamuke na suluisho. Wala sikuwe sana. Amen. Eh? Usikuwe na mamutu, toke service na mwenyerere. Ziretao mwenyesu. Mwenyerere, unaenda, ata, ata hapa, ukitadamika hivi, unaenda hivi. Oh, oh, no, nituka. Eh? Alamu, kifika pale chini, baka luga ili badilika. Unakutana una na waseo na wabia. Bleshi, bleshi. Bleshi, bleshi. Bleshi, bleshi. Go, thinking of a business idea. Praise be to God. So, twenty first, first what? First Samuel ten. First Samuel ten is the last scripture that you are doing. First Samuel ten, verse number. Do say verse number what? Verse number five. To some, after that, you shall come to the hill of God, where the Philistines gathered on his, and it will happen. When you come there to the city, that you will meet a group of coming down from the high place, a tambourine, a flute before them, and there will be, uh huh. Then the spirit of the Lord will come upon you, and you will prophesy with them, 
and you'll be you'll be turned what are you be? that's why I'm very very um, pro Holy Ghost I keep on talking about the spirit of God because look at that scripture he says when he is upon you you are changed into another man I tell you the truth if you harness who the spirit of God is people will see another it's the reason why they said they recognized they had been with Jesus you know that scripture? How is it that they saw Jesus in them? Because it's the work of the Holy Ghost to make you into another man. Praise be to God. Tell him, Father, make me into another man. Oh, Pastor, you are already a new creation in Christ Jesus. Perfect. You are a new creation in, perfect, in Christ Jesus. But where bad on the corner, Mahasira? Oh, I'm going to Wewe well, tu ndio una, una, unashikikara. Unasemaga by the mimi mimi pastor kuna mtu aliniambia kwa cancelling session pastor mimi nikikasirika niangalie bibi yangu na shida ya kumuongelesha na unaanga majina sikukuje. <laughs> Inaanza wazi alikuwa ananiambia nataka kumpiga kofi. But anasema majina zinakuja hivi. It is the Holy Spirit that changes changes you into another man. Praise God. First Corinthians. Is it first or second Corinthians? Second Corinthians 3. 3.15 But even to this day, when Moses is there, a veil lies on their hearts. Verse 16. Nevertheless, when one turns to the Lord, the veil is taken away. Now the Lord is the Spirit. And where the Spirit of the Lord is, so unawana hufai kutamea na shackles. How many of you have the Holy Ghost? So can I say you have the spirit of freedom? Yes. So you should not be free matters your marriage but in bondage on your finances. Yes. If you have freedom it is free indeed. Yes what is ever when you have the son you have Eh? Uh-huh. When you are free you are free indeed. See nusu bona sifwe sana. Are you free? Yes. Are you free? Yes. Now the Lord is that spirit. And where the spirit of the Lord is, there is Alamu check it with Arasema, but we all with our veiled faces, beholding as in a mirror, the glory of the Lord, are being transformed, are being changed. We are being changed. Praise be to God. We are being changed. Can I give you an example? Let me show you. You can put up why the Holy Spirit is very important. I need uh, three people. Three people. Yeah. The Father, the Son, and the Spirit. Eh? So, the reason why Glenn people don't uh, don't understand who the Spirit of God is is because of watching Nigerian movies. I'm done by there with the teaching. Here, example, the emotion. Many people because when you come ghost. So now I'm going to walk. Na ule boss unajua ni mule. Yes. Yeah. Ule footballer. Yeah, yeah. But always it goes. Your mind cannot comprehend because you watched Nigerian movies and you are a horror guy. Mm. So pastor unaniambia ghost ni nini? You can't comprehend it. If I talk spirit, tu nimetoka kwa age ya Illuminati, they were worshiping. Yeah. Sasa spirit hata ndio tunaharibu kabisa. Mm. But hii illustration itakusaidia. Now we are going to assume this uh, Glenn is Jesus. And then we are going to assume these are the disciples. So, disciples, go to your master. Yes, master. So, the master will tell them, I am the bread of life. I am the resurrection. Nini ingine sumuni I am the righteousness of God. I am the life, the way, the truth, and the life. Alpha and the Omega. Eternal life. Ukini kubali, isiku ya mwisho, utafufuka. Sinu kweli? So, kwa hizo, karo because you are a Bible scholar, pandi, a study Bible scholar, pandi ni, Mr. Francis is a, is a Bible scholar. The synoptic gospels are four. Yes. Matthew, Mark, Luke and, Luke and John. 
person to be born again? Including his disciples. Sidio? Yes. Kwa sababu, Romans 10 inasema, if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus, and you believe in your heart, you shall be raised. Jesus never led anybody to be born again. Sidio kwe? Yes. Cornelius alipokuja, alimpatia, alimuambia, the only way to be born again ni kuzali wa tena. Sidio kwe? Yes. But he never led him. Yes. When Jesus was with the disciples, huh? who had the Holy Spirit? Jesus. Jesus. Did these guys have the Holy Ghost? No. That's why Anasema, Wanaudizo, Mbona wafosi yoko wanakula? Anasema, Nikiwa nao, Nikiwa nao, Watadish, But kuna siku moja si itakuwa, are you getting my point? Yes. Wakati Yesu anakuja sasa Luke 24, anaenda ku ku ascend heaven. Yeah. Alifanya nini? Aliwaambia tu receive the Holy Spirit. Yeah. That's what he said, see there? Yeah. And then the Bible says their understanding were opened to understand the Bible. Mm-hmm. So the first entrance of the Holy Spirit was to help them understand the Bible. Amen. Sio kweli? But the same Jesus kwa hiyo Luke 24, Karo, anasema Tari in Jerusalem, Uziende, until you are endued with power from on high. In other words, you cannot boldly preach until I come. How to make sense na your gospel until he comes? Watch a chocha. Are you getting? Yes, wakaenda. Sumena. Usisa hau. Baka po ikokria. Baka po ikokria. Yes. Now, notice this. Because these guys did not have the fullness of the Spirit, guess what they did? We are end up fishing. Why? They didn't have the convicting Spirit. They were not persuaded. See the point? So, Jesus now has to appear. Brother Buddha has to appear in the vision. Brother Buddha. Ana kwamba mbiaje. Mimi scholars, ana mbiaje. Nataka fish. Huyu anasema aje, manze tumejaribu. Tumeenda the whole night. Niwaulize si pita wa zafisha man. Yes. How is it after the ministry of Jesus alishindwa kuvuna samaki? Huko kwingine alikuwa anavuna. No. Yeah? Lakini kwa nini saizi anashindwa? There was something lacking. Yeah. There was Amen. something lacking. Akakuja akamwambia aje. Nevertheless, at your word, tutaifanya. Alafu akamwambia aje, Peteo, I do not call you to fish what? Fish. To be a fisher of men. Wana sifuwe sana. And now we know I may appear into several people. Sindio? Then yes waka akena. Sindio? Yes walipoenda huu si mwembe utoke kwa fishi. What's the next thing that happens Karo? These guys are in the upper room. Yes. After not being convinced wachana na fish. Wakaenda huu uomba. So si nona wanomba? Ni maombi. Ni kisi intanks. Lakini si sema si uchawi. Ni maombi. Cheetahs. Cheetahs. They were not speaking in tongues. Hold on. They were not speaking in tongues. They were just praying. And they are praying and they are doing what? We are waiting for the promise. So, what we pray, majority of their prayer is what? The promise. The promise. The promise. The promise. The promise. No, the promise must come. The promise must come. The promise must come. Tonesha Acts 2. Are you getting my point? Yes. Acts chapter number 2. And when the day of Pentecost had fully come. So it was coming. Yeah. It was coming until it in a sema fully came. They were in Unona. Wako pamoja. Yes. Wamejisahau. And the Bible says in one place, and suddenly there came a sound from heaven 
as of a rushing mighty wind. And it filled the whole house while they were sitting. Divided tongues as of fire, and one sat upon each of them. And they were all with the Holy Spirit and began to. Rekatala kandori bakatala ya kori kabisa. And they were speaking in tongues as the Spirit of God was giving utterances. Amen. So this is what was happening. And I pray, mungi na nato utterance. Yeah. Holy Ghost na sema ivi. Yes. Holy Ghost na sema ivi. Holy Ghost na sema ivi. Wana siwe sana. Amen. Now notice people. Prior to the Holy Spirit coming, these guys didn't have a church. Mm. <laughs> After the Holy Ghost came, when Peter and said, Man of Israel, you rejected the man who was timid. When you look at Jesus, yes, Holy Ghost had become Jew to him. And then Peter and said, Man of Israel, yes. But Peter standing upon with the eleven raised his voice and said to the them, man, Man of Jew to you. And all you dwell in Jerusalem, uh-huh. let, let this be known, be known to you, and heed my word. Uh-huh. For these are not drunk. Uh, as you suppose. So uh, they were speaking in tongues. Atarases. Now and then. They were drunk. Uh-huh. This is the third day. As you suppose. But, but this is what was spoken, spoken by the prophet Joel. Uh huh. <laughs> And it shall come to pass in the last day, says God, that I will pour out my spirit on all flesh. Your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your young men shall see visions. Your old men shall see dreams. Point is this. In Kisoma, the book of Acts, any time they were threatened, they will pray. What would happen, Carol? The prayer will be answered by an infilling. Amen. So wakati ninapitia stress mm. sifai kukuwa fixated na situ, na solution mm. mimi nijazwe kujazo yangu oh, oh, yes. oh, yes. kujazo yangu imeni sort yeah, yeah. hey 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 glory hey. 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 to god glory praise god amen they were threatened wakaenda wakaomba wakasema god these guys are threatening us now grant us with boldness to preach the word of God. Oh, the yes. Bible says, and the place was shaken. Oh yes. Shaken, literally. And they were filled with the Holy Ghost. Mm. Bible in Akwambia, none of them wanted to join them. <laughs> but they would admire them. Mm. Oh, may we get to that place as a church. Amen. Praise be to God. Amen. I pray you be filled with the Spirit. Amen. Amen. Praise be to God. Amen. Amen. Now, for this example to suffice, for you to understand the Holy Ghost. The Spirit of God. Let me get now a new creation. Our ni when you tunasoma kwa Biblia. Uyu ni new creation. Uyu ni new creation. Are you getting it? Yeah. Assume I'm the Holy Spirit. Assume. We say now we have the Holy Spirit tangibly. Assume. Disclaimer as you. Now, never forget this. Never forget this. The Holy Spirit is to the new creation what Jesus was to the disciples. Oh, amen. 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 Let me repeat it again. Amen. The Holy Spirit is who to the new creation is who Jesus was to, was to the disciples. Yes. So you are not disadvantaged. Amen. Amen. Vile walipata miracles, hata wewe unaweza kupata miracles. Amen. Vile waliongea in boldness, hata wewe unaweza kuongea in boldness. Amen. Have I made myself clear? Oh yes. So what who Jesus was to the disciples, mm-hmm. it is what the spirit is to me and you. Amen. Oh glory to God. Glory. That is why he says, I will never leave you. No forsake you. He says it is expedient for me to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that this one may come. The helper. The helper may come. Yeah, yeah. Praise be to Amen. God. Have I made sense? Oh, yes. yes. Put your hands together for Jesus. Yeah. Thank you.